Hi everyone. Um, many of you have been to Buddhist temples before. Um, so as you can see, there is the Buddha in the middle, and on the side there is Sariputta and Mughalana. So they, they, you can also see them in books and pictures and much more things. But those are the two that I came up with. Um, so today we're gonna learn about. Sariputta and Mughalana. So, um, during the Buddha's time, there were two villages called Aputisa and Kalita. The headmen on the villagers were called Aputisa and Kalita. Both of their families were very close. Aputisa's wife, Sari, Kalita's wife was Mughali. Each gave birth to a son with the name with the same day. Aputisa's son was known as Sariputta. Kalita's son was known as Mughalana. The two children grew up to be very good friends. One day while the one day while the two of them were enjoying the hilltop, a hilltop festival, they became very unhappy with their lives. They decided to leave home to look for greater happiness. They went to learn from a famous teacher called Sanjaya. After some time, they left him because Sanjaya could not teach them the way for greater happiness. They decided to go their separate ways to search for the truth. They promised that whoever should find it first would let each other know about it. One day, Sariputta saw an ascetic going for alms food. He was attracted by his physical appearance. He appeared humble and calm, and his face was peaceful. The ascetic was Venerable Asaji, one of the first five disciples who listened to the Buddha's first sermon. Sariputta asked the Venerable Asaji, whose teacher was and was his teaching. The ascetic told Sariputta, I am still young in the order of monks. I am not able to explain the teaching in full. Let me tell you briefly in four lines. There, there is a cause for everything. The Buddha has said it. He, is, he also knows the end of its very cause. This is why he teaches. Sariputta was clever and understood the meaning of the whole sentence. He realized the truth. He remembered the promise he made to his friend Mughalana. He quickly went back to Mughalana to tell him what to tell him the truth. Looking at the clear and shining face of Sariputta, Mughalana knew that his good friend has found the truth. Sariputta spoke at the same verse to his friend Mughalana. After listening to it, he also realized the truth. The two good friends went to see the Buddha. In a short while, they were made the chief disciples of the Buddha. So that is the end of my story of the teachings of uh, Sariputta and um, Kalita. Um, so it's, what this story teaches us is um, it helps us learn new friends. So you can't just have a friend. You should have some good friends, like the one that's kind, helpful, and respectful. Some friends just um, stay with you and act like they're friends, but real friends stay with you, go along with you the whole way, help you in life, um, help you do lots of things. So. That's my story and I've won.